Let's take a look at a really old effect called a space flower. This device uses a high power xenon lamp and it projects beams into the sky that the whole unit pans around backwards and forwards but it also the pattern that it projects rotates it's got a rotating reflector in here that rides between wheels and each wheel has its own motor for that there's a safety switch uh, to avoid little electrical incidents when you take the cover off the light source is this xenon lamp and it's interesting that to make the beams pan in and out it's got a motor at the back here that winds this cam and then it's got an insulated section and it actually slides the physical the xenon lamp actually backwards and forwards in the reflector. The module down there is a high voltage igniter. The base has traditional ballasts and power factor crunch capacitors. This unit uh, is in line with the lamp and injects a high voltage spike onto it. And the way it does that, these windings here in this toroidal core are uh, the main current windings feeding the lamp. It's where the, mo the current passes through. And it's a transformer with a couple of turns around it and capacitors. And when this unit triggers, it dumps the capacitor through these two bits of yellow wire, and that induces a high voltage spike onto this, even though it's a fairly high current uh, transformer. We've got a fan, a cooling fan. There's another fan in the base. The base itself has very simple controls. It does have the facility for, let me see if I can get this open. Oh, maybe I won't get this open. No, maybe I won't get that open. It's all a bit broken, these are old units. But it, you can set a DMX address or you can set it to automatic modes. This uh, here, this potentiometer here, lets you set the, the pan angle. It calibrates when it, it's powered up and you can set it to auto and it will just pan within a specific range set by that. Uh, we've got the two connectors in there and also, oddly, uh, another connector that operates this motor here, and that motor operates these. Oh, I'll have to do it another side. It operates this fanning shutter that can be used to block the output of the unit. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that works. I could hear it running when I was doing a test. This unit came with issues, but they have been fixed. But that is it. Uh, now I'll show you it operating, which is going to annoy Ed, my co-worker, greatly, probably. One moment, please. Noisy. Uh, I won't run this thing too long because as it runs, it's going to get brighter and brighter. And uh, that's not necessarily what we want indoors and definitely not the heat. But that is the effect. But it projects lots of beams into the sky when you tilt this back and it pans them around. So that is the... Uh, famous uh, space flower by Studio Jew.